Hello, I am the Lamy Dragon, and this is Let's Play Pepsi Invaders for the Atari 2600. The first time I'm ever let's playing a hack of an Atari game. Of course, a, ha a hack of Space Invaders. Except this is actually an official hack by Atari. What do I mean by that? Well, the story, as far as I'm aware, is Atari made this for a sales convention in 1983 for some Coca-Cola executives, 125 of them in fact. I believe Coca-Cola actually asked them to make it, I'm not 100% sure if that's true. It was a f I don't know, it's not... but basically that's the story. It, it was made for Coca-Cola executives who went to a sales convention and they also got a free Atari system and only 125 of this, um, copies of this game were ever made. And of course, there are far less than that still in existence. So, well, it's a piece of Coca-Cola propaganda. Pepsi being the enemy, and I feel traitorous playing this as I'm a Pepsi fan myself. Oh well, let's go. There's only three minutes on the clock. And unfortunately, it's one of those games with flickering in it, so a lot of the times my bullets will uh, either... No, ugh, blown up already. Now, a lot of times my bullets will just simply vanish, or the bullets firing at me... No, ugh, I'm not paying attention. Will vanish. Fortunately, I have unlimited lives. Perhaps it's not such a... Uh, what do you mean? Well, of course it is. A, I have unlimited lives. Of course it's a piece of propaganda, because Coca-Cola will always live. Oh, it's a Pepsi logo, and if you have to destroy the logo... Sorry, Pepsi. Oh well, that one survived. Perhaps next time. Next time, Pepsi logo. Next time. <laughs> and there's still a few Pepsi, uh, Space Invaders. There, they're gone. I need the letter P. Go. Ooh. I don't get. Two. Aha, let's see if we can destroy the sign this time. Yay! Well, not yay. I'm a Pepsi fan. No! No, my defences, they're gone! No! Hooray! It didn't, it didn't land! Hooray! Of course, if you've played this game before, you know there's something very um, different about this version of, uh, well, invaders, I suppose. They're normal space invaders. But, I'm not going to show that off soon. Uh, boom again! But, as I say, I've got unlimited lives, because I'm Coca-Cola. And Coke always wins in this game. Trust me. Coke always wins. And there's a reason why Coke always wins. Which you will see. Very soon. Come on. No. Yes. Gone. Oof. Oof. Delete. Can destroy the S's. Yes. Come on. Ooh, I need six more letters to go. Hey. I think I'm going to show you why Cook always wins when I can shoot one more. Yeah, now you will see why Coke always wins. Come on, Pepsi, come on, land, Pepsi, land! Uh, okay, as you can see, uh, the Pepsi never lands, so it can never win. So that's why Coke always wins. And also the fact I've got unlimited lives. So, this game is completely unfair to Pepsi. Completely, completely unfair. And can you imagine if they actually really sold this game? Pepsi would sue like nobody's business. Oh dear, only five seconds left. Nah, oh, boom, destroyed. Ah. And there we go! Coke wins! Boo! 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 Hiss! Boo! Boo! Poor Pepsi! Or poor... P.I. That, that's all... Or Pessy. That's... Mm. Uh, the Pepsi logo. I'm so sorry, Pepsi. Ah, I've got Pepsi Max by the side of me. Oh, I love Pepsi. Anyway. Oh, enough of me of enough of me promoting Pepsi. And mocking, well, not really mocking Coca Cola, I'm just degrading it by sort of criticizing it for creating this propaganda, even though it was really only designed as a joke for the actual executives. Well, 
I hope you found it interesting, and I'll see you all soon in another Let's Play. Bye!